Hello everyone, welcome to another cooking video. On today's show, we're gonna be doing an all-American apple pie. Yes, a special recipe that I made years ago. And this recipe comes from um, allrecipes.com. Uh, I remember making this pie recipe eight years ago and it is delicious, very delicious. So, yeah, the last time I made it was back in 2013. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to need is uh, for the, uh, for the, let's see, filling. No, not the filling. The, yeah, the crust, yeah. <laughs> so for the crust, we're gonna need one and a half cups of flour, a half a cup of uh, vegetable oil, two tablespoons of cold milk, and we're gonna need a, let's see, one and a half teaspoons of white sugar, that's for the filling, uh, the salt sauce for the crust, uh, the Fuji apples, which are these here, we're gonna use six of these, cored and sliced, three-fourths of a cup of uh, white sugar with three tablespoons of all-purpose flour for the filling, uh, three-fourths of a cup, teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, one half a cup of flour, half a cup of sugar, and one half a cup of butter, which is a whole stick. All right, so first, what we're going to do is we're gonna preheat our oven, which I already have, to 350. And then we're gonna go ahead and in a large bowl, we're gonna to mix together our one cups, yeah, one, oh goodness, let me have some coffee. Ah, there we go, now I can focus. <laughs> so a half, one and a half cups of flour, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bowl. Okay. All right, so I have our bowl. So we're going to take our um, one and a half cups of flour. We're gonna mix our oil and our milk. and one and a half teaspoons of sugar, which is this right here, and salt until evenly blended. Yeah, all right. Yep, okay, that sounds good. All right, let's, let's go ahead and do it. All right, so we got our flour, and I'll grab me a spoon so we can mix everything together. So we're gonna Add in our sugar, mix that in, add in our oil, this is for our crust. Mix that in, we're gonna add our milk in here. This pie is real delicious, and like I said before, I made it uh, about eight years ago, the last time I had it, back in 2013, for Thanksgiving and Christmas. This pie is real delicious, I'm telling you. And when I saw this recipe on, on, on allrecipes.com during that time, I said, let me get this pie recipe. <laughs> all right, so our dough should look like this, all right? Look just like that. And it's very easy to put in the bottom of the, you know, and also on the top. all you need to do so that's perfectly ready so we'll set that aside and now next we are going to do the filling and that's it put it together pop that pie in the oven all right so we need six food fuji apples uh cored and sliced i have them soaking in water and i have an apple cutter bought one of these here Makes life a lot easier. You just place it right over that over the apple. 
Just press the down. Just like that. All right, so I'm going to chop these apples up. And then we're going to go ahead and get our filling ready. Got my apples nice and cored and all ready to go. So now, in a, another large bowl, hmm, where did my large bowl go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to dump these in here. Now, uh, according to the uh, ingredients, so we're going to go ahead and uh, make the filling by using three-fourths of a cup of sugar. Yeah, three-fourths of a <laughs> cup of sugar. So, uh, let's see. Got it now, all right. All right, so we're gonna use three fourths of a cup of sugar in our filling. And pour that in there. And let's see, uh, we're gonna use three tablespoons of flour, the cinnamon, the flour and cinnamon. Where is my stuff right here? Okay. So flour, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Hmm. My nutmeg disappeared. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Sprinkle over apples, and we're gonna toss and coat them. So grab me a spoon here. Oh, I'll use this. Apples real good. All right. Okay. Hi, Pan. So this is the, the bottom. We're going to pour all in the pan like this. Just like this and bring it up the sides. It's all coming back to me now. Now I remember how to make this delicious pie. Yeah, I made it. Yeah, I can't believe the last time I had this pie was in 2013. Yeah, seemed like a long time ago. Yeah, eight years is a 
long time. All right, almost 10 years. Filling and pour that right in. And then we're going to go ahead and make our topping and get this right in the oven. So next, we're gonna make our topping. So we're gonna need some butter. One half of, about a half a cup of butter, which is a whole stick. Half a cup of flour and a half a cup of sugar. And you can use a pastry blender. If you don't have a pastry blender, uh, what you can do is use a uh, fork to blend everything in. I'm gonna have to get me a pastry blender. So I'm gonna pour these both in, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and work this in. this is worked in we'll crumble it on top and put this pie in the oven for about 45 minutes This pie is perfect for a ball or any special occasion like Thanksgiving, which is uh, coming up here. Eight Thanksgivings later, yeah, here this pie is. Our topping is ready. Probably just a little bit more. I'll go ahead and sprinkle it on top. All right, now this pie is ready to go in the oven for 45 minutes until it's nice and golden brown on the top and ready to eat. <laughs>
right, that pie is ready. Go ahead and take it out of the oven. Ooh, look at that pie. Looks really good. Cool. Then I can't wait to try me a little piece of it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and dig in and sample. nice thing about this pie is it's homemade, made from scratch. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes the same when I made it eight years ago. <laughs> I encourage you to try this. This is really delicious. And it comes from allrecipes.com. And uh, make it, try it, and let me know how it tastes. And do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.